Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. I want to start off by hoping and wishing that each of you had a very uh, relaxing break last week. I'm hopeful that you had an opportunity to spend some time with family and friends, reflect upon all the things that we're all thankful for, know that at MASA we're continuing to work on your behalf to do whatever we can do to support you and help you be more successful in your job. And I can tell you that we're very thankful for having you as our members and for being able to provide you with support. I want to thank everyone for their participation in our various committees over the course of the last couple of months. Uh, each of our four committees met. We had uh, a good number of people that attended the meetings in person at MASA. And for each of the meetings, we had people participating through the video conferencing opportunity. So I know you're all busy. I know that there's a, a lot on your plates. But I do greatly appreciate the time that each of you took to participate in one of the committee meetings. I want to mention that as we're walking towards the 2019 legislative session, we're starting to find a little bit more about who's going to be in charge. Uh, I think all of you know that the uh, Democrats have regained control of the House. As such, they are now going to be the individuals that will be chairing the various committees. Uh, it's been announced that the House Education Finance Committee will be chaired by Representative Dabney from Minneapolis. Representative Dabney ha has an awful lot of tenure in the legislature and has served uh, many years on the uh, education, finance, and policy committees. So he is well, well versed in um, what the past has been in terms of education, finance, funding, and I'm sure uh, will uh, be moving us forward uh, hopefully in providing additional funding for uh, E-12 education. The House Education Policy will be chaired by Representative uh, uh, uh She is from Hopkins. Uh, she will be new to the Education uh, Committee world, and so uh, we do not know a lot about her, uh, but uh, we're looking forward to uh, meeting uh, the representative and to begin having conversations and developing partnerships and relationships so that as the session moves forward, we can um, work towards policy that will be in the best interest of the children uh, that we serve in Minnesota. We've still not had any final word on who will be chairing the various Senate uh, committees. As I think you know, the Senate has remained uh, in control by the Republicans. Uh, last session, we had Senator Nelson from Rochester, who was the chair of the Finance Committee, and Senator Pratt from Prior Lake was the chair of the Senate uh, Ed Policy Committee. And we've not heard if uh, they will continue or if there will be modifications made. Uh, more to come on that later. Also want to mention that we're working on our legislative contact plan. Uh, I want to thank those that helped uh, assist me with providing me with some potential dates for your various regions and component groups to uh, be at the Capitol. Our goal is to have that plan in your hands uh, by mid-December. Uh, uh, we're excited uh, for the upcoming session. I think all of you know this is the budget year, and so it's going to be important that the voices of MASA members are heard at the Capitol. Uh, we're also finalizing the 19 uh, platform for this year. Legislative Committee did a great job of putting a draft together. That platform will be reviewed by the MASA Board of Directors on Wednesday, December 5th. We're hoping for approval at that meeting. And as I mentioned, we're then hoping to get you the entire legislative contact plan, including the platform, in your hands by mid to uh, later December. And keep in mind, session actually starts on Tuesday, January 8th at noon. Uh, so that's going to be here uh, before we know it. With that, again, thanks for everything that you do every day for the children uh, that you serve, for the staff that you serve. Uh, I know that in Minnesota we're very fortunate to have all of you as leaders. If I or any member of the MASA staff can be of assistance to you, please feel free to contact us. My cell phone number specifically is 651-319-1211. Thank you.